so today I had a really nice um, day out with hubby. There's been another shift in the schedule change, and so you know we had sun he had Sunday off, which normally doesn't happen. So we decided to use that um, because I have kiddo with us. She gets brought back tomorrow, and so we went out to Mirror Bread for lunch, which is honestly somewhere we haven't gone before. And then um, hit a few uh, little thrift stores, so I wanted to go look around. So I guess. Oh, we also went to Five Below. Let's, let's start with that one. Okay. All right. So um, cuticle remover, pusher, stainless steel pour extractors, just some basic health and beauty stuff. But I've been interested in Mirrorverse ever since I've seen some of those trailers, and I really want to get the Maleficent action figure, but they didn't have her. They only had Belle and Baloo. I've seen the genie, and I've seen Goofy, and I'm like, it, it, it gives Kingdom Hearts, but like a little bit more beefed up. So this is really cool, and I like it, and I definitely... And looking at getting um, more of these. I mean, I don't really know anything about the story, but apparently Belle's a support character and uh, wields a staff. And I really like this take on her classic peasant blue um, outfit. So I'm really excited to add her to my action figure collection. And then um, I couldn't resist the unofficial. Harry Potter Book of Spells, and the thing about this is that um, they have what looks like a little annotations written in, like someone went through a book that's, you know, a school book, and you find somebody who's written something or drawn a picture. So the shield penetration spell might have been more difficult because he was not the one's master, because the notes here said the Elder One cracks when Voldemort uses this spell, implying it takes an incredible amount of power to break through such strong shields. Caterwauling Charm. There is no way of proving who set off the Caterwauling Charm, as Aberforth Dumbledore is able to convince the Death Eaters he had done so when he put out his cat. Maybe Death Eaters aren't very bright. Cheeky. So cheeky. It's, uh, I'm starting to, like, build up a expansion on my Harry Potter book series, not only just having the canical um, storyline, but then also these sideline books about, you know, books of spells and the traveling companion thing and such. Okay, so then we went to um, the antique shop, and <laughs> this is the first thing that I grabbed because my brother bought a shower curtain for the bathroom replace the old one. It was getting a little moldy. It was beyond saving. It's a cat wielding a trident riding a T-Rex. So once I saw this, I'm like, yeah, I'm hanging this up in the bathroom. It's so cute. Now, I was there looking for a brunette doll to replace a Barbie. My mom has that the new puppy chewed up. Um, it was originally a blonde doll. It's the one that I was talking about how I um, removed the hair and, and such and had difficulties. But all I could find were classic blondes and I want one that has more articulation. So I did not exactly find the doll I was looking for, but I came across Dumbledore for $10, and the only things he's missing are his glasses and his wand, but that's fine, because I've already got Dumbledore. This is one I would like to customize, trim his beard a bit, and give him the old biker man look. And these robes can go to an, another character. So, he's gonna get cleaned up, and he'll become a new character. While shopping, I can never not find something for my daughter. She likes Hatchimals. So I, I found this one that 
I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any in here. So I picked up this little baggie. And then these are for me. I had this original Padme Amidala figure way back in 2000 um, into when it came out, which is when I freaking graduated and everything. I remember playing on the porch with my brother with all his Star Wars figures and everything. And I was so mad I couldn't get Padme to fit in the Naboo flyer because her skirt is this thick plastic. So when you move her legs, you see the skirt doesn't move. It's not fabric. So I did the dumb thing. I took some scissors and cut right along the butt line so that way when I fold her legs, she can actually sit in the Naboo fighter because... I mean, all she's got is a little pistol. We were actively playing with action figures, and I wanted in on the action, so I did that. Now, granted, I don't have that Padme action figure anymore, at least I don't think so, but I definitely don't have her tiniest little phaser pistol thing. So, this is just me replacing that one that I customized years ago. And then, um, this had Peach and Bowser, and I'm a Pe Princess Peach fan, so I had to have this for my collection, and hubby got Bowser. We were at the checkout, and we look at another booth that's right there at the desk, and I see this. Ceremonial Princess Leia with all her jewelry, unless she was wearing two bracelets. Do you know how much? Five dollars. Needless to say, the other doll that I was thinking about customizing, I put back. And I grabbed this one instead. Her hair is still intact. Pulled back. Big bun. Long braid. Oh. It's like, sorry mom, I may not have found the, the doll to replace yours just yet, but you would forgive me for this because... Other than not having shoes, you know, I mean, I'm almost tempted to give this to my mom, but it's like, who do you think raised me on Star Wars? <laughs> so, she was 11 when it came out, you know, so, um, yeah, I, <laughs> sorry, I, I don't know, I'm just like, <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. So that was the little shopping haul and then let's see after that we left we hit bronze because we wanted to get some ice cream and I got cherry limeade we came home and then for dinner because I didn't want anything spicy my you know heartburn and stuff uh, we just went KFC easy peasy so that's it and I'm getting kiddo back uh, you know, tomorrow morning, and so I can't wait to give her this cute little bag of Hatchimals, along with the Ender Dragon and Ladybug, uh, toys that I got for her just a few days ago. <laughs> so anyway, that is my haul. Um, I don't really think I'm going to open up and do a review on Bell here, because, um, I don't have access to my action figure collection at this moment. They're all, they're all boxed up and the garage is pretty full. So it's, it's kind of just not worth the uh, danger and the um, effort to go through to find it all just to put her into it. So um, I'm just gonna set her aside in a shelf in the living room. And these you know, smaller things I can have in my room. But um, yeah, for the, for the time being, and even these dolls, they're just going to get tucked away somewhere. I'm not going to be able to have them out on display and do stuff with them um, just yet. But I will still be hunting for a doll to replace the mom, my mom's Barbie and get her redressed in that outfit. But uh, I, I, I consider this a good haul. Dumbledore being the most expensive item I got today. But I ain't complaining. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, have a safe summer. Bye-bye.